Hello and welcome to Microfocus demonstration video. This video demonstrates how to configure the smartphone method as the second factor authenticator. In this video, we will learn how to configure the smartphone method as second factor authenticator. How to enroll and test the smartphone method. How to authenticate to Windows Workstation with the smartphone method. The smartphone method helps users to authenticate to their smartphone using the NetIQ Advanced Authentication app. When a user initiates the authentication to a device, a push notification is sent to the app. User can tap Accept button to authenticate successfully. Let us understand the flow of authentication with the smartphone method. When a user tries to authenticate to a device such as a laptop with the smartphone method, this initiates an authentication request and the device contacts the advanced authentication server. The server validates the user's credentials and after the validation, the advanced authentication server sends a push notification to the proxy server. The proxy server forwards the push notification to the smartphone based on the platform of the smartphone. The push notification appears on the NetIQ Advanced Authentication app on the user's smartphone. When a user launches the app, the push notification pops up. If the user taps accept button, the user selection is sent as a response to the advanced authentication server. The server validates the authentication and user gets authenticated to the device. Here are some key points to ensure before you begin the configuration. Install advanced authentication Windows client on Windows workstation. For more details, refer to the Windows client installation guide. Install NetIQ advanced authentication app on smartphone. For more details, refer to the Smartphone Applications Guide. To configure the smartphone method, let us first log in to Advanced Authentication Administration Portal. Now, let us configure the Public External URLs policy. Click Policies, Public External URLs. The URL that we configure here sends push notification to the NetIQ Advanced Authentication app and gathers the user response from the app, then transfers the response to the server for authentication. Double click on default URL. Specify the external URL. In this example, I am specifying smartphone.company.com as an external URL. Click OK, then save the policy. Now, let us see different settings in the smartphone method. Navigate to Methods Smartphone. These are the different settings required to configure the smartphone method. The URL configured in Public External URLs policy reflects in the server URL. You can retain the default values or change these settings as per your requirement. In this example, I am retaining the default values. Save the configuration. Let us create a chain. Click Chains, New Chain. Specify a name for the chain. Remember the name of chain for further use. In this example, I am selecting LDAP password as first method and smartphone method as a second method in the chain. Specify the user group that will use this chain for authentication. In this example, I am specifying techie users. Save the chain. Now we need to map the authentication chain to the preferred event. Click Events, Windows Logon. In this example, I am mapping the chain with the LDAP password and smartphone methods to the Windows logon event. Save the event. 
Let us now see how Paul Jones, an LDAP repo user, enrolls the smartphone method on Advanced Authentication Self-Service Portal. In this example, let's assume Paul is using an Android phone. To enroll the smartphone method, Paul must first log into the self-service portal. Click Add under the Your Enrolled Single Methods for Sign-in. Select the smartphone icon from the available methods. Specify a display name related to the smartphone authenticator. This is optional. Click Get QR Code. A QR code appears on the screen. Launch the NetIQ Advanced Authentication app. Specify PIN or place fingered on sensor to unlock the app. In this example, Paul has secured the app with his fingerprint. Therefore, scans the finger to unlock the app. Click the plus icon in the Enroll Authenticator screen. The camera of the smartphone launches. Scan the QR code with the camera. The smartphone method is enrolled now. A message, enrollment is complete, is displayed. Specify the username and optional comment in the app. Save. The smartphone authenticator is now created in the app. Click Save to save the smartphone authenticator in the self-service portal. To test the enrolled smartphone method, click Smartphone Test Method and tap Accept in the push notification. The enrolled smartphone method is tested now. Now, let's see how Paul logs into Windows Workstation using smartphone method as a second factor authenticator. Specify the username and click Next. Select the chain with LDAP password and smartphone methods. Specify the LDAP password and click Next. Launch the NetIQ Advanced Authentication app on the smartphone. Scan the fingerprint to unlock the app. Tap Accept. Paul authenticates to Windows Workstation successfully. Thank you for watching the video.